It's now time for the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show, hosted by Miss Yolanda Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host, and I want to say a pleasant good morning to you, Miss Hinton. Good morning, Mr. E. Talking about pleasant. You know, I woke up this morning and it was a little cloudy, and now all of a sudden, we're looking out and the sun is trying to pop through. Well, the sun is about to shine. You know why it's going to shine, right? Why? Because today is Fun Friday. Fun Friday. That's right, that's right. Good fun morning. Friday. That's what today yes. is all about. Our WPCE listeners, good dun, dun, morning. Dun, 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 Facebook Live, come on, we're waiting on you. I think uh, in the morning sometimes our Facebook friends are trying to get up and pop in or either they're at work. But they, you know, soon when you ask them to come on and join us, they start popping up like popcorn, Mr. E. That's right. That's right. Our Facebook fans. But guess who else we got listening to us also? Oh. Sounds for our Facebook fans. We got WPCE. WPCE, that's right. That's well, right. We love you all out there, WPCE. You are our support system as well. And we thank you for joining us this morning on FYI Radio Show. Mr. E, I got to ask you. Okay. How you doing? How's the challenge? The challenge is great. The challenge is great. I mean, I got on another brand new shirt today, you know, and I got this brand new shirt on today. And you know, this brand new shirt is not poking out. You know, what I'm trying to do, I'm doing a wonderful job. I got on the scales and the scales are saying another number than the number I had before. Well, you're doing good then. That's right. I'm doing a wonderful job right there on uh, taking that challenge. See, what, what has to happen, Miss Hinton? It has to be serious. Yes, you have to take it serious. When you take that challenge, you got to be serious and you got to say, I'm going to do it and I know I can do it. Yes, well, we're glad you're doing it. How I about you? I am. I'm having a great time. I'm Even when I don't feel like doing it, I push myself to do it. Uh huh. You know, and I know it pays off. It's uh, leading me into great health. And when I go to the doctor, my numbers are fabulous. That's right. So That's I'm really right. excited about it. And I want to challenge you all out there. 30 minutes a day. That's right. We're going to be doing it till the summer. You know, I'm going to go far past it. But we just want you all to join us and get used to it kind of like moving and uh, getting yourself healthy. Go to the doctor. That's another challenge. That's right. Get your numbers and make sure you are moving toward good health if you're not already in good health. You know what I wonder? I, I think often think that folks who, when we talk about good health, you know, because it's all talking about it all over America now, uh, that good health is the best way to go, that folks got to want to live healthy. And we're trying to tell you that I'm, I want to live. Listen, living healthy is great. I heard folks talking about juicing. I, yes. I heard folks talking about walking and exercise. Great heartbeat. You know, good health leads to a healthy heartbeat, a healthy organs in the body, and, and you live longer. Yes, you do. And so the challenge is on. This is Fun Friday. Take Fun Friday and go out there and, and do a 30-minute uh, workout, walk. You know, you can go in your house and pick up some uh, heavy jugs or some anything, light weights. Mm. Uh, even you can sit down and mm. just move your legs. Mm. Mr. E is over here. He may be doing mm. push up. Oh, he got my pocket. <laughs> Mr. E is in here with my pocketbook. Uh, That's funny. Mr. E, that is uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I mean, even if you have to take a, a couple of your pocketbooks or whatever. A couple of, you don't even want to do that. That's all you need. You just ladies. want this one. Yes. That's all you do. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. That is funny. And it, the pocketbook is not even that big. But what? It, it may be a little <laughs> Anyway, whatever it is, 30 minutes a day, you guys, start uh, meeting our challenge. You all let us know if you me are meeting our challenge. Go to FYI Radio Show, hosted by Yolanda Hinton. Go to Facebook. Now, our listeners, if you all are not on Facebook, it's a good time to join. That's where everybody is. It's That's right. I mean, billions of people. That's right. On 
Facebook, and you all can see us live, or they can go where else, uh, Mr. You can also go to www.christianbroadcastingcompany.com and click and listen live. Good morning, Mr. Gentry, along with Miss Jewel Corpu. Thank you so much for tuning in to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. I mean, I just had that big pocketbook, in, that little pocketbook <laughs> in my hand, and I thought it was going to break my back. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, we're glad that you're doing so well, Mr. E. Keep That's right. That's right. Right. Work, That's right. And uh, it's going to definitely pay off. That's right. That's you know, right. We have, uh, this is February. That's right. Oh, February 2, 1, 2. This is 2. Yeah. February 2nd, uh, 2018. And it is so good to be in February. This is our Black History Month. And we really love uh, when this month comes around, even though we celebrate it every day, you know, our heritage and, and who we are. You know, when it comes around, we're able to highlight a lot of people that have contributed some great things to our uh, uh, life and our heritage and our people and uh, to the world, actually. That's right. And uh, we're going to be highlighting some folk uh, on our upcoming shows. Uh, we would love for you all out there to tune in and be a part of our Black History Month shows on FY Radio Show. And all you have to do is pick up the telephone in Dallas at 757-714-7861 and let us know what you have done, you know, for our, uh, for our community or for our heritage. You know, just like we got great, 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 great guests coming up here. Yes. We got Brother Nathan Richards supposed to be our our guests on Monday, Very along good. with Miss Martha Williams. You know, some of these folks you may not know or, um, uh, or may know, uh, Miss Martha Williams will be up here. She's a great author who yes. wrote, if you go by the Botanical Garden, you see the statue where the African Americans had dug out Absolutely. the Botanical Garden, you know. Uh, so she's a part of that. And then also, we got the first African American Mayor, Mayor. yeah, that would be of Norfolk, Virginia. He's going to be on FY Radio Show. We're very excited about it. Uh, we're going to have some great people, and uh, we're just going to have fun uh, just highlighting those that have done so many things. You know, we all have contributed to uh, our heritage, and uh, we've all making marks on, on this world, and uh, we don't want to, you know, make it like, you know, they're the only ones, but there are those that are out there that have really pushed hard to really bring a better life for us. We just talked about Martin Luther King and that's all right, that's that right. he did for our, uh, our people and our communities. And uh, uh, we're just going to keep talking about those and honoring those that's that right. are doing great things. I don't want our, people, our listeners to know that you are doing great jobs also when you're raising your community, when you're putting information in your community, when you're helping your community to rise above mere survivor, your sons, your daughters, you are doing something great because you're introducing them to life and you're helping them to be able to, um, you know, deal with challenges and things of that nature in life. Absolutely. Mr. E, we also have February Valentine's Day Will coming you up be on the my 14th. Valentine's? That's and, right. And, uh, you know, last year, I, I think the year before, we had love doctors up here. That's so right. That's we right. We may have to go out there and get us a, a, a relationship guru, talk about relationships, and, and find new clever ways of uh, letting your loved ones know how much you care and love about them. So we're working on that. And then, let's see. Oh, what's going on this weekend? Well, it's the Super Bowl weekend. No, this, no, not yet, Mr. E. What's going on this weekend? And FYI this weekend, that's with. right. The the Heartbeat Gala, that's Masquerade right. Masquerade party. Ah, it's going to be off the chain. That Saturday, we'll be at the Heartbeat Gala, running down the red carpet. Absolutely. And listen, you have an opportunity if you want to put, come to the gala. Get you know, uh, uh, make sure you get with Miss Kim Winbush. Winbush, yes. Winbush, and and uh, did I say it right again? Kim Winbush. Okay, Winbush. Uh huh. Yeah, get with Miss Kim Winbush, and uh, you know, let them know that you want to go to this great heartbeat gala where they're recognizing those who have challenges with their heart, who've been a part of heart diseases, and they they're making it. Absolutely, and it's not just old folks. So that's don't, right. Don't that's put that right. In your mind that that's right. Old people that is so get true. Get heart uh, disease and stuff like that. Uh, they are young people. They are 
babies, they are uh, millennials that are suffering, and they show up at this uh, gala. Last year it was off the hook, off the chain. It was wonderful, and uh, everybody celebrating the fact that we can get more information. That's and right. We can network and talk about uh, heart health and how we can be successful in our bodies and keeping our health up. Also, you can join us Facebook Live. We are going to come uh, through Facebook uh, to highlight some of uh, what's going on at the Heartbeat Gala. I know they're going to have fashion shows. That's right. They're That's gonna right. They're going to have food. They're going to have great uh, celebrity speakers. And uh, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be red. It's going to be masquerade. It's just going to be fun. And FYI, we'll be on the red carpet talking to uh, some of the guests uh, that come in. And it, it is, it's just going to be a, a most enjoyable enjoyable evening. All you got to do is stay locked to FYI Radio Show, hosted by Yolanda Hinton, or you stay on Yolanda Hinton's page. Lock it in, because that's where you're going to be Absolutely. able to see what's going on at the Heartbeat Gala. Okay, also, Mr. E, we can't go past this. Uh, what's going on on Sunday? You were getting ready to talk about it, but here you go. Go ahead and let our people know, which everybody should know by now. What's going Super on, on Sunday? Super Bowl Sunday. Yay! Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, can I predict who's going to win? Go ahead and predict. And the prediction that I have is the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, my goodness. What do you all think? We want our Facebook friends to chime in. Let us know who you think going to win uh, this wonderful who you NFL. Well, this is the thing. I'm trying to get you guys out there to kind of get me into the loop. Uh -huh. Okay, and try, and I want to get a team, so I'm going to look at some of the game, okay. and I'm going to determine if I really want to get in it like that. I got nieces and nephews and family members that love sports, and I always sit on the sideline, Mr. E, so this is the time. Now, you, you've been trying to convince me to be a cowboy fan. That's the team to go to. You know, that's see, the way to go, because you're already a star. But see, the Cowboys, I, I, I followed them a little bit. But sometimes I, I'm a little disappointed that they don't go all the way. So you're going to have to convince me that this is a winning team. Well, you got to remember that everybody in the NFL and everybody in the AFL wants to beat up on a star. And every time somebody <laughs> play against the Cowboys, that's their Super Bowl. They're just as happy as a bug in a rug. Oh, my goodness. So, Mr. E, again, who are you predicting will win this NFL Super Bowl? I'm predicting to win this NFL Super Bowl will be the Philadelphia Eagles only because they're in my district. Wow. I mean, do you follow them? Like no. Follow? No. Okay. No. But look, I had a little scoop. I had to get this little scoop. This is what I heard through the grapevine. Uh, this is about LeBron James. Uh, and the fact that uh, I heard he was getting ready to do a sideboard off season already with the doing Warriors. They and what do you all think about that? They won't have him over there. Oh, he, my. You know, his contract runs up, Miss Hinton. And because his contract runs up, he wants to be on a winning team. Oh, wow. You know, he wants to be on a winning team. And uh, because his contract runs up, so for the, what he wants to do is get on a winning team. So now he's trying to get with the Warriors. Wow. Good morning, Evelyn Cherry. And we get ready to head to Facebook Live. You all join us over there. It's been a wonderful, fun Friday. God bless you all. We're going to see you on Monday on WGPL 1350. Why? For the past 15 minutes, you've been listening to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI with our host, Ms. Yolanda Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. Join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And for more information, give us a call at 757-714-7861. And have a great weekend. Don't forget to tune in to Yolanda Hinton's Facebook page this Saturday for the Heartbeat Gallery. Have a great weekend. Today is sponsored by the Holy Light Church of the Liberals, which is located on the corner of Lincoln and Des Moines Avenue in the city of Portland. This is the East and the Heartbeat Gallery. Woo! Yeah, the Heartbeat Gallery. Gala. 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 Oh, my That's my goodness. southern accent. I like it, Mr. It's e. my southern we accent. We all make mistakes with language, but gallery, I said I said last week they're they going to have a talent show. No talent show. <laughs> Fashion shows that we all make those mistakes. Let's let's run over there if you want to go over there. Uh, we're, right, going, we're going over here to the uh, to another studio. <laughs> let's enter. Don't run too fast from them. Uh, we're going over to the other. Gotta get this heavy pocketbook. Th yeah, that's right. You, she got to get that big heavy pocketbook, and you can rest assured that the pocketbook that she's carrying is a head. Look at it. Look at that pocketbook. That's like uh, look at a.
What makes it happen is the Michael Kors <laughs> logo. <laughs> no, that don't. Let me tell y'all, that don't make that happen. That don't make. Huh? That don't make that. That don't make that happen. That don't make that happen. Let me tell you what makes it happen. Have it. That don't make it. Ha what makes it happen, Miss D? Look, look, look. That M O N E. <laughs> wow. That money, 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 money. Wow. With Mister E, we're back in the same studio. They put us out there. They put us back in. Isn't that crazy? But Mister E, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We're going out there. Well, I'm going out there. Mister E got to finish doing his business here. But I'm gonna go out there. I got some things to prepare for the weekend and uh, some other things I want to do. It is so beautiful out there. Look, I'm, I'm for real. You all help me to get a team, okay, to find a team. Mr. E is trying to, um, he's trying to get me to be a cowboy. Fan. That's the team to go, Miss Henson. Let me tell you, there's no other team out there. There's no NFL team out there besides for the Dallas Cowboys. See, the thing that you got to understand about the Cowboys is every team, Every team, and I, and I say this, that every team out there, they want to beat up on the star. Wow. Every, I've never seen it in my life. Every team in the NFL and every team in the AFL, they want to beat up on the Dallas Cowboys because they know that the Dallas Cowboys is America's team. Everything that you see going on, all the players and all this flea flicker and the shifting and this fancy stuff, it all comes from the Cowboys. Now, why is it America's team? Because we have we have won a lot of teams and we have won a lot of games okay. and 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 that's the that's the talk of talk. You know, if you ain't a cowboy, you ain't Jack. Oh, well, that's a good boy. That's a good spin. That's I'm right. gonna have to consider the Cowboys now. You all out there, help me out. Uh, we have the Patriots. I don't know nothing about the Patriots. And we have the That's, Eagles. They're cheats. They're and, cheaters. Uh, I mean, they have really come a long way. They have beat the best. Well, and the so, Patriots has Tom Brady up there, who's a very, very great quarterback. Okay. But they also cheated. Ooh, when they won the Super Bowl one move? time before, they deflated the, fo the football. Okay. The football is supposed to have at least 12 pounds, 12 pounds of uh, air in it. Okay. So what they did, they deflated it down to 11 pounds. Uh, and so now they, they cheated like that. It's all over the network. Who said they cheated? Oh, it's all over the network. Wow. Now, the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, they, they got a good chance. If, since they planned today, they're amped up. Listen, if you know that I'm right, Hit us up. If you're a cow if you know that the Cowboys look and get the thumbs up that the Cowboys are the best. All right. We're you do I'm trying to get you to be a cow girl. Oh, you know, no. so that you can talk talk like you know, a cow person. A, a cow a cow person. <laughs> now let me tell you about the cowboys. Mm -hmm. Now when you you can tell a cowboy, you can put on a cowboy shirt or a cowboy jacket or a cowboy hat and mind you your own business. And somebody right. always got to say something to you because if you got a star on. Oh, I mean, it is funny, though, that when you see the Cowboys and other team uh, fans interact. I mean, you all are going blow to blow, toe to toe. It was quite funny and amusing. But I am determined, Mr. E. I got to follow football a little bit more, and I'm going to get me a team. How so about this is what I want y'all to do. Even though we got a challenge going on, I like football. Everyone here that's watching our video, that viewers, put a little check up there and say which team that she should she should choose. If she gets more cowboys, then guess what she's gonna be? She's gonna be a cowboy. Oh. In the year two thousand eighteen, she's gonna be a cowboy. Good morning, Mr. Ballard. Miss what do you think? Mr. Deshaw Deshaw Ballard. Uh what do you think? Do you think she should be a cowboy? What do you think? A cowboy fan. What do you yeah. all think? I, I'm going to choose a team. I don't usually follow it. I follow it from afar. And I get a kick out of folk and how they are fans of different teams. And they <coughs> really go hard for their teams. I mean, ride or die ride for their a team. Guy, well, ride I think a it's marvelous. Well, see, so, just like LeBron James. Yeah. He don't know what team he want to be oh, on. Oh, my goodness. He was on the Miami. He was on the Miami one time. Then he left Miami and went to Cleveland. Now, because he's not winning, he's pouting. I, I have a problem with y'all. Why y'all demonize poor LeBron? I think he's LeBron pouting. is a fabulous, 
fabulous player. He's pouting. But why do you feel like he's pouting? They got me. He see, uh, uh, um, one of the Miami my, Miami players got him over there. Mm -hmm. They thought that they was going. See what they're trying to do is stack the deck. They're trying to stack the deck. That's uh -huh. what they're trying to do in the in the league. They're trying to stack the deck, and because they're trying to stack the deck, they're trying to get the winning team. Okay. It, it's just like when we go out here and play sandlot football or basketball, we want the best players mm -hmm. on our team. Well, LeBron James, LeBron James, they got rid of Tyree. Uh -huh. Now, Tyree is over at Boston. The, 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 the Cleveland's... And Tyree, he helped them win last year. Okay. So they got rid of a great player. Now, he's wanting to go with the Warriors. And the Warriors has a great, 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 great team. Well, don't you think that's called strategic? No, I mean, it sounds crime. like he has really kind of like mapped out his uh, career. strategy for his career. His career, but you cannot, if you're going to be, if you was glad that the Cleveland Cavaliers accepted you back, if you was glad that the Cleveland Cavaliers accepted you back after you went to Miami and talked bad about the Cleveland Cavaliers, now you got to come back to the Cleveland, and now you're really having a problem with the Cleveland Cavaliers because you're not winning. Mm -hmm. See, what is happening, they don't, they, he wants to be on a winning team. There's nothing wrong with that. But he's got to show that he can play ball. He's got the ball now. Okay. He's got to make his money now. Well, whether it's the NBA or the NFL, I'm going to definitely look closer at some of these sports and kind of like chime in from time to time on Fun Friday. And we're going to talk about it. Now, who do you all want to win this Sunday? Are you going to have your NFL parties, wear the wings, and the, what is all that other stuff you your, all your, eat? Your, your graffiti, and, uh, all your, your yes. you know, because I'm going to be sitting there with my cowboy stuff on. Um, yes. Thurman Reynolds, good morning. Good Thank morning. you. Good morning. Who you think Mr. Reynolds going to be? Uh, um, uh, um, the winner. The winner. Of the NFL. Super All you got to do is yeah. go to our box, inboxes. Inboxes. Edward Everett. Well, drop it right there. Let yeah. us know. Let us know who you think. I'm going with Philadelphia Eagles because they're in my division. I thought Don't. you said you was going with the other teams. No, I did not. I said the Philadelphia Eagles, not the New England Patriots. No, 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 no. Ooh. And why not? Why I'm not do you going say with that Tom Brady because Tom Brady they love to cheat. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going with cheaters. <laughs> And Philadelphia has such a young team, and they're representing us, the Cowboys, in that because they're part of our district. How many people you think gonna bet on the game? Uh, wow. Well, you know, a lot of people. The odds are going with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots because he's been there before, and he's a veteran. He's about thirty-eight years old, thirty-nine years old, and he's a senior. He's a great, great ball player. He knows. So he's got willing a great to put team. money on it, huh? You know, everybody's gonna put some money on it. Oh. Okay. They're going to put some money on Philadelphia. Somebody, you know, somebody going to win and somebody going to lose. But the thing about it is, <coughs> Cowboys will be there. Well, I tell you, what you mean they'll be there? They'll be there next year. Okay. <laughs> We're going to keep hope alive. Look. Keep hope alive. <laughs> you Cowboys. know, they start off so good. And then, I mean, the year before last, they really started out excellent. Right. And then this year, you know, a little... You know, a lot of little controversies. But tell me you know. why. Tell me why do you think sometimes the Cowboys can get so close and then sometimes they're up and down. What What do you feel is the problem? Well, I feel that the problem is that it's the mental problem there. Why do you say that? And, and the reason is um, there's so many people that's against the Cowboys oh. that even, you know, they call the Cowboys a drug addict team. And oh, really? They call them women beaters, a whole nine okay. yards. As soon as there's a problem in the camp, the I'm, I, 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 and when it comes to media, uh -huh. that's fake news, like your president <laughs> said. When it comes to talking about the Cowboys, the media always, oh they always get that fake news. Oh, that's what my your, goodness. That's what your president said, with his lying hand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He said that fake news. That's fake news. That's fake news. Y'all see this hand? Lying one. <laughs> his, his fake hand. So, so I'm in agreement with the president that they lie on the Cowboys, just like for example Ezekiel, the Who running back for okay. the Cowboys. Okay. They said that there was a problem with him fighting and beating up on his wife, his girlfriend. Well, that is a problem. But guess what? What? It, it never happened. Are you sure? It never happened. He never been to court, and he had to sit out. 
Okay, well, uh, Trump said that uh, never happened between him and But the, Trump said he can do lady. anything. <laughs> Trump said he can do so. anything. And, you know, just like Trump's wife. His wife sat up there at the uh, speech. Yeah. Wouldn't even give him a round of applause. Even, Wouldn't even, even clap even. her hand. Lady, do you blame why, why? Why she didn't clap her hand? It, because, you know, the, the their house is in distress a little bit right now. You know, everybody's is it true? Uh, you know, on the news and talking about it, but have you thought about her in her household, what it means? It means that there is some mess going on and some stuff that, that has to be handled. And how can you handle... Uh, you know what's going on in your household when you have to deal with the whole world. Well, not you got to be not just your household. So, you know, she has to really just put on uh, a front, a front, or you know, just try to get through this. And because I can, you imagine her heart is definitely melting. This ain't nothing that I don't. I don't think it's something that she can sit there and say, you know, yeah, wait you know, he was out there. Wait that, a you know, minute, a you year, just can't put a the year blame in the marriage. Yeah, you oh, know. Oh, that's what a, I'm saying. That's one side of the sentence. Well, uh, uh what, what Look I'm what saying she used is, to do. I'm, you want the you you want to see her go, go into the into the uh, play girl. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is the point of you know her just having to deal with. This type of controversy, I don't think anybody would be happy if somebody sitting up there got the finger on your uh, relationship, saying, "Yeah, this one is doing this, and your man, your husband's doing this." You know, a woman would probably sit back and be very distressed. She may be mad at y'all sitting up there talking about her husband. She may not believe it. Well, she, 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 she well, look what he made. He, look what she done. I don't know what she's done. She all I been say all is in the magazines. To deal well, I'm not, I, I don't know about You know, proof that. is in the pudding. You can just go to her name and see her, her modeling. Absolutely. But this is what I'm saying. This is affecting. You just had a bachelor party. Yeah, but that did not affect her marriage. This thing right here is affecting her marriage. She, he I just, can imagine. He just bought the boys. it happened. Who knows? He will just you know? look at you. <laughs> <laughs> he just had the boys over. <laughs> he just thought that he would have her jump out of the balloon. Uh, uh, not on Listen the room, but okay. E, I'm going to get back to the sports. I'm going to leave Trump. You know, Trump tried to buy a football game. Melania, Melania um, what's the name? Um, I'm going to leave there. Oh, oh, no, you didn't. That's his girlfriend. Ivanka is his, his daughter. <laughs> but he said, that, he said but if he wasn't him, married, he, he would he date. If, if that wasn't his daughter, he would date his daughter. I, I, Steve, what can he say? Excuse me. We get too far off. Oh. Now. Oh, we get too far off the track. We're I'm talking about the LeBron. We're talking about uh, Super Bowl. Fake news. Fake news. How did fake we news. get on Melania Trump fake. and Trump, uh, your your president, Mr. Your Trump? Your president. You know, so, Mr. Trump tried to buy the Buffalo Bills, too. Oh, what happened? The, you know, the, it was an eagle thing. He had no money. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Donald Trump tried to purchase the Buffalo Bills and didn't have no money. He couldn't e. lie his way out Mr. of that. This is causing trouble today. On Listen, that's why I when, read you, your show. when you're looking at a football team, the best football team in the whole wide world, Dallas <laughs> Cowboys. That's all you got to remember, that the Dallas Cowboys are the number one team in the whole wide world. Do you all agree with that or not? I need to know. Drop us a line at FYI Radio Show, hosted by Yolanda Hinton, or right there where you are, right there live. Let us know what's going on, what you think. Is Mr. E telling the truth? I don't know. But anyway, um, we're going to have a good time at our Heart Health, um, Heartbeat Gala this weekend. Uh -huh. Heartbeat, FYI will be there, and uh, we're going to uh, really enjoy the time. Also, we're going to um, uh, have our Black History Month coming up. If you want to be a special guest or sponsor uh, the segments of our uh, Black History Month shows, you can do that. Call us at 757-714-7861. We'll be glad to talk with you all. Just drop us a note, give us a call. And uh, just do what we do. Be a part of what we do. And uh, Mr. E, I'm gonna let him go. He he just is going all everywhere, uh, talking about your president and everything. So we're gonna make sure on Monday we find out who you all rooted for. Did your team win? Did you win that money you bet? Bet you know when you put that bet down on the table. You know some people bet real hard. That's what I heard. Well, let's and come on so, tonight. Let's come on tonight and find out. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, listen to us on Facebook Live. Okay. And we'll be on this evening tonight. Okay. And we're going to be talking about who's your team. Okay, that's going to be fabulous. God bless you all. Mr. E, I'm going to see you later.
Listen, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with our host, Miss Yolanda Hinton. Tune in tonight. Yeah, and you'll hear more of FYI of find out what's going on with your football team. For more information, call us at area code 757-714-7861. Until Monday, have a great weekend. Bye now.